Hi, greetings. This is Microsoft Certified Trainer Vicki Evans, and I am going to take the next few minutes showing you how to create name badges for a list of participants for your event. On the screen, you see a finished version of the name tags that we're going to create. The example scenario is that we have a conference uh, for some physicians or some surgeons, and I need to create name badges for each participant um, who is attending. So let me show you how to build this example um, name tag project. I start with a list of names in Excel, and what you'll want to do is um, you'll want to make sure you have your separate columns, your first, co first name column, your last name column, um, the designation, so in this case it the, the title if they're an MD or DO or PA and then um, in this example we want to put the number of number in the bottom right hand corner indicating how many years they've been attending this conference and so this is my basis this file is my basis uh, for the the name tag so I'm gonna go ahead and and close that and because I've already saved it and now what I'm gonna do is create a new document in Word now that I have my Word document open, what I'm going to do is, is use Microsoft Word 2010 to create a mail merge. So I go to the Mailings tab in Word 2010, and I'm going to start with this group of commands here, Start Mail Merge. And I click on Start Mail Merge, and they don't actually have um, an option here to create name tags, but really what we're doing is we're using Avery labels as the name tags and let me explain what I'm doing um, if I go over here I'm going to show you what the product I'm using these Avery name tags and they're also kind of considered labels so I look at the product code number the product is 74459 so I need to make sure I write that number down or memorize it so let me go back over to Word and when I go click on start mail merge I'm going to choose labels and what you'll want to do is want to make sure that your printer information is correct. So I'm using a, a manual uh, feed for my printer because I'm going to put the, the name tags in the tray. And my label vendor, I want to make sure that this is set to Avery US letter. And then down below here is the beginnings of the list for all the Avery products. So what I'm going to do is start typing the product code. So 74459 and here it is hanging name badges it has the height and the specific width and I can click OK and it gives me my framework from which to um, to begin now all you need to focus on when you're creating name badges you only need to focus on creating one prototype so we're only going to worry about this one label or one name badge here because we'll be able to use this option called update labels to then uh, copy and paste the label definite or the name tag definition over to the um, to the other name tags. So even though it says update labels, it's actually updating each cell for our name tags. So now that I'm in the very first name tag, I'm going to go and choose my recipient. So I need to go find that Excel file, and we have an existing yes list. So I'm going to use the existing list here and go straight over to my recent places, mail merge, and here are my surgeon's names. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I know it's in sheet one, and I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Now, don't worry about these um, tags over here on the far right hand side. These are just codes that um, Word needs to know when it moves over to the next record and put the new person in that cell. So our focus is just on this very first cell. So what I want to do next is I want to insert a logo. I want to make sure I have a logo in every single on every single one of my badges. So I go to my insert tab, picture, and go back up here to my recent places, go back to mail merge, and then I have a conference logo here. My computer's a little slow today. There we go. So I can resize it, adjust it, and I just use, since this was just a sample training, I just use some clip art. And I'd like to see that centered on the, on the name badge. So I click on center. And then I hit enter once. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to add the first and last name fields. 
I go back to the mailings tab and I'm going to say insert mail merge field or insert merge field and I want to insert the first name I want to hit the space bar and I want to insert the last name so now I've got first space last then I hit enter and then I'm going to insert the designation and then I hit enter and I'm going to insert the year how many years they've been attending and I know that I want the year um, offset to the right so I'm going to go to my home tab and make sure this moves all the way over to the right and that might be too far to the right so I'm going to use my indentation here and fix that now the next thing I want to do is make the text bigger so I'm going to select uh, the first line here and let's make it maybe 28 and maybe make a designation maybe make that 24 and the year let's make that um, 20 and then what we can do is we can go to mailings and preview the first one so that looks good I may want to move the name a little bit further down so that it's not too close to the logo. So what I'm going to do is highlight that um, that row, go to my home tab, and right in the paragraph group there's these line spacing options. So I'm going to click on that drop down, click on line spacing options, <coughs> excuse me, options, and then maybe make that 12 point spacing before the paragraph and then click OK and that looks a lot better. If we wanted to we can remove the spacing before the designation and that looks better. Okay, so once I have this set, you know what, maybe this, the three, the actual year needs to be pushed out a little bit. So rather than hit the enter key, I really want to put some space after the designation. So I'm going to go back over to the home and let's add some space after the MD and maybe two lines of space or one line of space and that looks so much better. Okay, perfect. This is what I want the label to look like. Once I have the first label set up, I go to mailings and then I say update labels. And then now I have all of my uh, samples here. So if I make a change, if I decide I want the first name, the uh, first and last name to be a little bit bigger, what I'm going to do is I'm always going to modify the very first first name tag because that's my sample one, and I'm going to maybe increase the size. So maybe I click on that once. Once I um, make a change to the first label, I go back to mailings and I say update labels again, and then it updates all of the rest of the labels. Now I'm only previewing the results, so if I click on preview results and toggle back and forth you can see the code for the mail merge. And when you're ready to, to look at the final product, what you can do is click on finish and merge and click on edit individual documents and OK. And then here is the actual labels file. And there are some like here Alexander Summers so this one um, because the name is so um, long it pushed the year down so I may want to just go just to this label here and make it a little bit smaller um, in this case it might be too small let's see 36 how about 34 nope 32 yep 32 works a lot better um, and I can go through the names and just make sure everything looks okay um, and looks like it does. So that's how you create name badges. The main word of advice I guess I have is to always just make sure that the first name tag it looks exactly the way you want it to look and then you'll use this magic button update labels. Let me go back to the other one. You'll use this magic button here update labels to then what's called propagate 
the remainder of the la the remaining labels. So um, hope this is helpful and good luck with your labels. If you have any questions, feel free to post on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash redcapeco. Thanks a lot and we'll see you soon.